Greg Haugen, Roger Mayweather, Melbrick Taylor, Hector Camacho. The names go on and on. All of them wanted to be the first man to defeat Julio Cesar Chavez. 87 times they have tried, and 87 times they have failed. This September, welterweight champion Pernell Whitaker will fight him to see who is the best fighter in the world. Many experts say Whitaker is better than Chavez. Will Whitaker be the first man to beat Julio Cesar Chavez, or just another man who fails? The fight, Whitaker versus Chavez, Friday, September 10th, live on pay-per-view. Call your cable company. The two best pound-for-pound -pound boxers in the world are going to slug it out this Friday night on Impulse Channel 21A. You and your house full of guests can order the Whitaker Chavez fight anytime between 8.30 and 11.30 on Friday night. Then place your bets and get ready to rumble. For the Impulse Marquee, I'm Tracy Reinhardt. On March 6, 1836, the Alamo became the site for one of the most celebrated battles in American history. Now, more than 157 years later, the newly created Alamo Dome will become the site for one of the most celebrated battles in boxing history. It's five-time world champion, Pernell Whitaker, versus five-time world champion, Julio Cesar Chavez. Now, come behind the scenes for the tactics, the strategies, and the firepower as we focus in on the fight. Whitaker versus Chavez. I like to call myself an entertainer because I go out there to entertain. You know, anybody can go out there and just put punches together. It's that little flair that you have that little, that little mm. I'm always putting on some shaking and baking. That's just the way I fight. I don't get nervous. I'm just trying to fight my best fight. I'm trying to find a way to give him a good beating. to make my punches connect. Sometimes I hear voices in my head. But during the fight, when I concentrate, I don't hear anything. Every fight that I prepare for is the fight of my life. People only remember the next, the last time. In this game, you lose one fight, you may not get that sucker chance again. The man with the best preparation wins the fight. In training, I don't like to plan my strategy. I plan my strategy in the ring. All my fights are difficult. I'm going to fight as I always do. This fight coming up with Chavez, I'm not, not looking for any knockouts. I'm not even looking to, to destroy him. I'm just going to humiliate him. I don't think he's ever been in the ring with a fighter with, with cal on the same caliber as he is. And that's what makes great fights. When he fights me, I'll expose his weaknesses. If he thinks he's gonna play with me, he 
He's definitely wrong. I'm gonna hurt him. The WBC welterweight championship bout between Pernell Whitaker and Julio Cesar Chavez does not have an extravagantly ornate title or rhyming name like Rumble in the Jungle and Thrilla in Manila. Instead, it's simply entitled The Fight. For when you put two of the world's best pound-for-pound -pound fighters inside the ring, you don't need any fancy superlatives or excessive hyperbole. Now, during the course of this show, we'll be uncovering the secrets and strategies surrounding this fight, as well as looking at these two men who have each won five world titles in three different weight classes. That's all coming up on Focus, the fight. Whitaker versus Chavez. But first, the Battle of the Alamo was a furious one, teeming with strategic and tactical import, not to mention some high-concept movie premises. With this in mind, the boxing world now submits some lessons to be learned from this historic heavyweight tilt. Never wear a cone skin cap into the ring. Being a promoter, I would certainly advise my fighter to try to bring in into the ring with them their Riddick Bowie knife. If you find that you're outnumbered 20 to 1 too often, then you should definitely change promoters. I would have had a hit by Don't get caught in the corner. Scout your opposition. Always be prepared. Don't believe the press releases. That's Parker. He was a, he was a pretty good middleweight, if I'm not mistaken. Keep your trunks up. Run like hell. We Texans and we Americans will be there to the end. Brunel Whitaker, Julio Cesar Chavez, the two best pound-for-pound -pound fighters in the fight the world's been waiting for. Order the fight on pay-per-view and catch every incredible round live from the Alamo Dome in San Antonio this September. And now, through this special TV offer, you can feel like you're ringside for all the excitement. Order your official fight gear by calling 1-800-453-4100. Hi, I'm Don King from Motor Extraordinaire. If you can't be with me here in San Antonio where the action is, you still can be positive action. Order your fight gear. I got mine. Get yours. To order, just call 1-800-453-4100. The official T-shirt comes in large and extra large and costs $22. The hat is one size fits all and costs $18. And here's a knockout offer. Order the shirt and the hat for a super discount price of just $35.95 and we'll give you the official fight poster, a $10 value absolutely free. Call 1-800-453-4100 to order your official Chavez Whitaker fight gear now. Operators are standing by. Get your thing, baby. Greg Haugen, Roger Mayweather, Melbrick Taylor, Hector Camacho. The names go on and on. All of them wanted to be the first man to defeat Julio Cesar Chavez. 87 times they have tried, and 87 times they have failed. This September, welterweight champion Pernell Whitaker will fight him to see who is the best fighter in the world. Many experts say Whitaker is better than Chavez. Will Whitaker be the first man to beat Julio Cesar Chavez? Or just another man who fails? The Fight. Whitaker versus Chavez. Friday, September 10th. Live on pay-per-view. Call your cable company. Julio Cesar Chavez. Pernell Whitaker. Whitaker. Chavez. The fight. Friday, September 10th, live on pay per view. Julio Cesar Chavez had his first professional fight less than one month after Ronald Reagan became president. Since then, over the last 14 years and more than three presidential terms, he has, on the average, fought once every eight weeks without losing a single bout. But most impressively, during this 87-fight winning streak, he has made it look easy, beating good, sometimes great, opposition without much difficulty. But now, for the first time in years, he faces a fighter many believe can beat him. We're talking, of course, about Purnell Sweet Pea Whitaker. 
I put some tough fighters in, um, and I've proven myself. I beat them all. So this is the only guy that stands in the way of uh, me proving I'm the best kind of time. Whitaker's quest to be the best began when he became the only fighter to win amateur boxing's three most prestigious events, the World Championships, the Pan Am Games, and, of course, the Olympics. All of the things that I'm doing now is like icing on a cake. You know, it's, it's the most important thing, the thing that I dreamed about all my life was completed in 1984. His success continued into the professional ranks until his first title fight when he lost a highly controversial decision to Jose Luis Ramirez. The world saw it. They knew I won it. I knew I won at least 10 rounds. I didn't get it, but that's okay. I didn't, you know, I didn't make a protest or anything. I said, let's go back to the drawing board, you know, let's get a rematch. He won the rematch easily, and over the next 10 years has continued to beat one world champion after another. Throughout his career, Whitaker, the perennial showman, has brought a controversial flamboyancy to all of his fights. That's just the way I fight, and, uh, and, uh, and if I take that out of my arsenal, I'll be an average fighter. And when I do it, and they love it, then I love it. Now he takes on the undefeated Julio Cesar Chavez. By the time Pernell Whitaker stepped into the ring for his first professional fight, Julio Cesar Chavez had already won 44 fights, knocked out 40 opponents, and earned his first world title. Since then, he has gone on to win 43 more fights, earned four more world titles, and compiled the greatest winning streak in all of sports. Now, although some think Whitaker can win this fight, others believe no one, no one can beat the most successful fighter in the history of boxing, Julio Cesar Chavez. I don't know what Whitaker's weaknesses are, because he's never really been hit. Ever since Chavez stepped into the ring for his first professional fight, he has dominated his opponents with his relentless body attack and explosive power. Julio Cesar Chavez is the new WBC Super Lightweight Champion of the World. Chavez, born and raised in the rural mountains of northern Mexico, is his country's greatest national hero. Last year, when preparing for his fight with Greg Haugen in Mexico City, a public sparring session attracted 25,000 fans, including the president of the country. And two days later, the largest paying crowd in boxing history, 136,000 people, filled Azteca Stadium to watch the fight. And Chavez wants to go home. Haugen has never lost by knockout. This could be the first. Chavez unloading. But now, against Pernell Whitaker's dazzling speed and frustrating style, some believe Chavez faces his sternest test. I think that in the first three or four rounds, he might be a little difficult. But as the fight progresses and I keep hitting him, I don't think he'll be able to take the pressure. Because I'm stronger and I hit harder. Although Chavez has easily dominated virtually all of his opponents, three years ago he came within seconds of losing one of the most exciting, most controversial championship fights in recent memory. What happened during that bout? And how does it relate to this title fight with Pernell Whitaker? We'll find out as focus the fight. Whitaker versus Chavez continues. But first, if you think the Alamo would have made a hell of a prize fight, then take a trip back in time with us for a different kind of The Tale of the Tape. Although the numbers seem at the outset to overwhelmingly favor the Mexicans, the intangibles could play an important role in this bout. For instance, we know Davy Crockett can take a hit. Hell, he supposedly wrestles alligators to relax, while Santa Ana generally lets his men do the real fighting as he sits around designing swanky new uniforms for Napoleon wannabes. They both won lots of medals, but Crockett never wore his as they tended to bruise his buckskins. Crockett took a lot of burns, while Santa Ana got only one, and that was from lighting a fuse. Finally, don't overlook the fact that they all all had to eat, and no one delivered till the mid-20th century. 
Brunel Whitaker, Julio Cesar Chavez, the two best pound-for-pound -pound fighters in the fight the world's been waiting for. Order the fight on pay-per-view and catch every incredible round live from the Alamo Dome in San Antonio this September. And now, through this special TV offer, you can feel like you're ringside for all the excitement. Order your official fight gear by calling 1-800-453-4100. Hi, I'm Don King from Motor Extraordinaire. If you can't be with me here in San Antonio where the action is, you still can be part of the action. Order your fight gear. I got mine. Get yours. To order, just call 1-800-453-4100. The official t-shirt comes in large and extra large and costs $22. The hat is one size fits all and costs $18. And here's a knockout offer. Order the shirt and the hat for a super discount price of just $35.95 and we'll give you the official fight poster, a $10 value absolutely free. Call 1-800-453-4100 to order your official Chavez Whitaker fight gear now. Operators are standing by. Get your thing, baby. For three years, that's all I've heard. They say he's the best fighter in the world. No way. He's not better than me. So what if he's never lost? I'm bigger than him, faster than him. I can beat him. I can beat anybody. Still, that's all I'll be hearing when we fight. But he'll be hearing something, too. That the best fighter in the world isn't him. It's Whitaker, Whitaker, Whitaker. The Fight. Whitaker versus Chavez. Friday, September 10th. Live on pay-per-view. Call your cable company. Eighty-seven times men have tried to beat Julio Cesar Chavez, and eighty-seven times they have failed. This September, welterweight champion Pernell Whitaker will fight him to see who is the best fighter in the world. Will Whitaker be the first man to beat Chavez, or just another man who fails? The Fight. Whitaker versus Chavez, Friday, September 10th, live on pay-per-view. Call your cable company. On Friday, September 10th, here in San Antonio, Texas, two of the world's best fighters, Pernell Whitaker and Julio Cesar Chavez, will meet for the WBC welterweight title. Although both share a desire to be known as the greatest pound-for-pound -pound fighter today, it's difficult to imagine two champions with more contrasting fighting styles. Whitaker toying with Haugen. Whoa! Chavez unfazed, toe-to-toe -to -toe with Terence Ali. Julio Cesar Chavez seemingly relentless. Pernell Whitaker with an awesome display of hand speed, keeping Greg Haugen pinned against the rope with a furious barrage. Chavez pouring in, pounding away, and oh, what a shot to the head as Mitchell crumbles to the canvas. While the conflicting fighting styles of Pernell Whitaker and Julio Cesar Chavez are well documented, it's surprising how differently these two five-time champions prepare their strategies and formulate their tactics for the battle inside the ring. Other than choosing sparring partners with fighting styles similar to his opponent, Chavez pays little, if any, attention to the strengths and weaknesses of his opposition. Sometimes I see them fight, but only once or twice. Instead of entering the ring with a carefully planned strategy, Chavez goes straight at his opponent, improvising his attack as the bout progresses. In training, I don't like to plan a strategy. I plan my strategy in the ring. By the first round, I know if the fight is going to be hard and I know the way I have to fight. Whitaker, however, never enters the ring without a game plan, carefully conceived by his manager, 71-year-old Lou Duva, who's earned a reputation for his meticulous approach to the tactics of the ring. We teach how to beat an opponent. We lay, out a, we lay out a game plan, and hey, if they follow it, you know, they win. If they don't follow it, you know, they lose. Fortunately, we haven't had too many losers. I do everything they tell me to do. I do not go out of my way to do what I want to do in the ring. Everything I do in the ring is all for what they tell me. Because if anything happens in that fight and it doesn't work and something happens where I, something tragic happens, 
I don't blame myself. I blame the corner. It's their fault. Many believe Lou Duba has developed one of the most sophisticated and perhaps most effective teams in boxing. Over the last four decades, with the help of master strategist Georgie Benton and an eclectic collection of trainers and fitness experts, he has produced 13 world champions, including Mark Breland and, of course, Evander Holyfield. Yet he has never been able to beat Julio Cesar Chavez. The two toughest fights that Chavez had were against my two guys, Rocky Lockridge and Melrose Taylor. So I'm 0-2 against him. I guarantee you, I will not be 0-3. The first loss happened in 1986, when Duva's fighter, the tough former WBA champ Rocky Lockridge, took Chavez the distance in a very hard fight. It's hot out there, and he knew it was going to be a tough fight out there. So he also started slow. Had he started fa uh, just a little faster and taken one round, just one round, I think we could have won the fight. Almost four years later, in the spring of 1990, the second Duva fighter faced Chavez. He was Pernell Whitaker's close friend and former Olympic teammate, Meldrick Taylor. When I saw Holyfield fight against Bowie, that hurt me. And when I saw Tyrell fight Tyson, that hurt me. The biggest hurt I got was when I seen Meldrick. Going into the final round, Taylor, who had boxed brilliantly, had built a substantial lead on the scorecard. But with only seconds remaining, Chavez landed a perfect right hand. When I left that arena, I don't know where I went, because I thought the kid fought his heart out, you know, and um, it's too close, you know, and um, it's just, it was a devastating thing. Sure, it's a heartbreaking loss for me, but it's a heartbreaking loss for the kid, for Melra Taylor. But he fought his heart out. And with two seconds to go, you can't take it away from him. Will Pernell Whitaker avenge the defeat of Meldrick Taylor and finally win one for Lou Duva? Or will Lou Duva now go 0-3 against Julio Cesar Chavez? This contest between these two five-time world champions has been scrutinized, talked about, and debated for years. And opinions for this one are bitterly divided. Chavez Whitaker, I would be willing to bet my money, which is pretty important to me, uh, that it'll go the distance. I think Fernell Whitaker is going to beat Julio Cesar Chavez, and he'll do what he has to to convince at least two of the judges, if not all three, that after 12 rounds, he gets a decision. I like Chavez. I think Chavez is going to grind him to the ground. I think he's going to get a late stoppage. Chavez Whitaker is going to be the, one of the finest fights of our time. I see Whitaker beating Chavez out, you know, stick and move, speed, you know, a lot of speed. Hopefully that he's able to move like he in his early in his career, like um, Milton Taylor, just stick and move him and just kind of like outbox him for 12 rounds. I predict. You know, a hard fight, you know, it'd be definitely a hard fight, strong fight. A Whitaker, you know, you can't say he's not going to be easy to beat, but I feel that um, uh, uh, Chavez could, you know, stop him in his tracks. I think Whitaker's the, the sharpest boxer in the game today. He's fast, he takes his time, relaxed, do a lot of thinking. I predict Whitaker. Right now, I think Chavez is about the, the best fighter out there today. Um, I would have to go with Chavez, depending if he's not too tired now to continue. If he only take one more good fight like this, and I put everything into that fight, uh, I think Chavez. I like Pernell Whitaker not to take anything away from Chavez. Uh, I know this guy's not a lot of hype, but, you know, I still remember the uh, Meldrick Taylor fight with Chavez, and Meldrick beat him. And here we have a guy who's uh, a left-handed fighter who's a lot slicker than Meldrick. So, you know, it's, it's a pick em fight. But, uh, you know, you twist my arm and make me pick, I'll pick Pernell Whitaker. I see Whitaker uh, taking the lead in the early with his speed, lateral movements, uh, actually uh, outsmarting uh, Chavez. But then I see Chavez coming on in the late with the tremendous body shots. Uh, with the heart of a lion and actually taking it back uh, from Whitaker. And I think I see him knocking him out. Who will impose his will over the other? Will the speed frustrate Chavez? Or will the brute strength and the relentlessness of Chavez eventually slow down Whitaker? It's a fascinating fight. I have not a clue as to who will eventually be psychologically strong.
On the sheer power of numbers alone, the American troops, in spite of their incredible pluck, were sorely overmatched. In the spirit of the Alamo, then, we recall some of our favorite mismatches. I was at one in May. Riddick Bowe and Jesse Ferguson, I had a harder time fight getting to my seat than Riddick Bowe did. Tyson Douglas. Tyson should have never been there, man. <laughs> the worst boxing mismatch of all time would have had to have been the five guys that fought, fought George Foreman. State and federal court systems against Heidi Weiss. Chavez and Whitaker. That's the other great mismatch. Like boxing has too many to choose from. Remember the Alamo! Brunel Whitaker, Julio Cesar Chavez, the two best pound-for-pound -pound fighters in the fight the world's been waiting for. Order the fight on pay-per-view and catch every incredible round live from the Alamo Dome in San Antonio this September. And now, through this special TV offer, you can feel like you're ringside for all the excitement. Order your official fight gear by calling 1-800-453-4100. Hi, I'm Don King from Motor Extraordinaire. If you can't be with me here in San Antonio where the action is, you still can be positive action. Order your fight gear. I got mine. Get yours. To order, just call 1-800-453-4100. The official t-shirt comes in large and extra large and costs $22. The hat is one size fits all and costs $18. And here's a knockout offer. Order the shirt and the hat for a super discount price of just $35.95 and we'll give you the official fight poster, a $10 value absolutely free. Call 1-800-453-4100 to order your official Chavez Whitaker fight gear now. Operators are standing by. Get your thing, baby. 87 times men have tried to beat Julio Cesar Chavez, and 87 times they have failed. This September, welterweight champion Pernell Whitaker will fight him to see who is the best fighter in the world. Will Whitaker be the first man to beat Chavez, or just another man who fails? The fight. Whitaker versus Chavez, Friday, September 10th, live on pay-per-view. Call your cable company. Chavez will be in that corner. I'll be in that one. They say no one can beat him. I know someone who can. So in September, we'll see who's the best fighter in the world. I can't wait. The Fight. Whitaker versus Chavez. Friday, September 10th. Live on pay-per-view. Call your cable company. Julio Cesar Chavez. Pernell Whitaker. Whitaker. Chavez. The fight. Friday, September 10th, live on pay per view. On Friday, September 10th, here in the Alamo Dome, a new 75,000-seat arena in San Antonio, Texas, five-time world champions Pernell Whitaker and Julio Cesar Chavez will fight for the WBC Walter Waite Championship and the right to be called the best pound-for-pound -pound fighter today. Included on the Whitaker-Chavez card are two other title bouts featuring a pair of champions consistently ranked amongst the top fighters today. Three-time champion Azuma Nelson defends his super featherweight title against undefeated Jesse James Leha. Weighing in at only 130 pounds, veteran Azuma Nelson, with his stalking style and big punching power, brings heavyweight excitement to the featherweight and super featherweight division. But now, the 35-year-old champion takes on rising superstar Jesse James Leha, ranked number three by both the WBC and the IBF. And Terry Norris defends his WBC welterweight title against super slugger Joe Gatti. Since winning his title, Norris has knocked out seven out of his ten opponents, five before the end of the fourth round. But now he's up against the hard-hitting Joe Gatti, who has stopped all of his 15 KO victims within the first three rounds. And, of course, in the featured bout of the night, it's Whitaker versus Chavez in an intriguing matchup of stuff. I may disappear in this fight and come back. But all the time, when he's looking that way, I'm going to be over that way. Is he getting, yeah, he thinks he's going to play with me. But he's wrong, because I'm going to hurt him. 
But I'm looking forward to being an entertainer in this fight. And uh, I'm looking forward to hurting him. I'm looking forward to him. I'm not going to say he's not going to hit me, because he is going to hit me. I may let him hit me. <laughs> but it's not going to be a war like people think that, you know, he's going to, you know, pick me. Oh, no. I've beaten them all. And I'm training especially for this fight. So I'm not going to have as much trouble as people think the day of the fight. You can see it all live Friday, September 10th, 9 p.m. Eastern, 6 p.m. Pacific on pay-per-view. For more details, contact your cable company. I'm Steve Albert, and I'd like to thank you for watching Focus the Fight, Whitaker versus Chop. in boxing history, meantime, has been unbeaten as long as Julio Cesar Chavez. Tonight, from the jam-packed Alamo Dome, Chavez puts his 87-0 mark on the line against Pernell Whitaker, the owner of the WBC welterweight crown. Although this fight hasn't commanded the attention of a heavyweight title bout, it could well be one of the best fights of the year. Charlie Steiner is standing by with a man who has corner experience in just such a pound-for-pound -pound pounding. And welcome to San Antonio. I'm with Emmanuel Stewart, who has been reunited with Thomas Hearns for the first time in a couple of years. Hearns on the comeback trail. Of course, he trains Vander Holyfield, Gerald McClellan, the godfather of the Cronk Gym in Detroit. How do you size up tonight's fight, Emmanuel? It's going to be a tough fight. Uh, not necessarily an exciting fight. It doesn't have to be that, but it's going to be an interesting fight. And, and both guys come in with a battle plan, and who can get the other guy to cooperate with his plan is going to win the fight. Now. I think that if I was working with Whitaker, I would have him to fight his normal fight, but I think it's necessary he must punch with more authority. He's going to have to get some respect, and I would uh, advise him to go to Chavez's body more than anyone else has went to his body. Chavez is going to fight his typical Chavez fight, which means he will adjust, break down the guy, maneuver him into a position he wants, and with this type of crowd behind him, it's really hard to go against Chavez in this fight. Why do you expect this, at least perhaps, to be a dull fight? I wouldn't say it because Whitaker is not in exciting fights, and I don't think his plan is to be in an exciting fight tonight. He fights fights where he wins, but they're not necessarily exciting. He's an exciting individual, though, with all of his moves, but he doesn't necessarily win many fans, especially down here. Yes, and I don't think he can actually run tonight, so we say, because this crowd would not let that happen. He's going to have to box him as a boxer, man boxing another man, not a scared person. And he's going to have to hurt Chavez or get some respect. Not necessarily knock him out, but to give him that little extra step to to get away by making uh, Chavez have to hesitate. The 142 pounds that Chavez is weighing in at tonight, more than he's ever fought at before, does that impact one way or the other? No, I don't think so. I think the fact that Chavez to me is really nothing but an overstuffed lightweight, and whereas I think Whitaker is actually a welterweight right now, means that Whitaker may have a physical strength advantage going down the stretch. Emmanuel Stewart, thank you very much for joining us, okay. and we'll be on immediately after the fight with all the post-fight coverage from the Alamo Dome in San Antonio. For now, for Emmanuel Stewart, Charlie Steiner, ESPN, sending it back to Sports Center.